Hi, neurogenetics is a complex field, but as a neurosurgeon, we need to only to know the uh, fundamentals and basics understanding of that field for our patients, their prognosis, and also better management treatment. Also, it's a part of the exam. I'll try in this presentation to simplify the glioma molecular features and mutations. I dive into 2021 WHO classification. So let's get started. At the end of the main journey, I will be able to give you the three key concepts, which one is built upon the previous. First, understanding the core of WHO classifications, the four main molecular mutations that we need to know, and also the current classifications of other diffuse glioma based on what we built before. An overview for histological grading. Grade 1 does not exist in gliomas. Skip that, go to grade 2. Grade 2, we, when we see a presence of glioma cells without features of gear grade 3 and grade 4. So in grade 3, we can see anaplasia and we see high mitotic activities. And grade 4, we, we can find the microvascular proliferation and necrosis. That will make the tumors grade 4. But we should know that in 2016 and 2021 WHO classification, the histology diagnosis and phenotype become less priority than molecular mutations. There is a transition from the histological phenotypic analysis to prioritizing molecular mutations in the WHO classification. In the histopathology report, you can find there is a combined integrated diagnosis. Let's see what this layer for a format from. First, the histological diagnosis is the first layer, which is what's the type of cells coming from. And then the grade, we just talked about it. And you can see there is an Arabic numeral numbers instead of the Roman numbers that were used in 2016. We talk about molecular mutations, for example, IDH. We talk more about it in, in this video. At the end, we combine all these to find integrated diagnosis. For example, astrocytoma IDH grade 3. Astrocytoma is the histology, IDH is the molecular mutations, and the grade 3 is the grade. We need to keep in mind before diving into four main molecular mutations, what's meant really by tumorogenesis. It's an imbalance happened between two forces. The first force is the tumor suppressor genes and regulatory genes that keep the cells within growing within limit and keeping normal cell cycles that usually end by apoptosis. In the tumor, there is an upper hand will be for the exaggeration of growth genes and also lost or mutated supp suppressor genes that will lead to uncontrolled immortal cell growth that can divide and infiltrate and destruct uh, nearby tissues and also metastasize. So that, that will explain the key to understand why molecular mutations that we will discuss now are uh, making different in WHO classification. As I said, we have a four muta molecular mutations we must know as a neurosurgeons in the gliomas. The first one, and in the heart, is isocitrate dehydrogenase enzyme mutations IDH. And then we have 1P19 codeletion, which is necessary for oligodendroglioma diagnosis. We'll talk more about it in a minute. And we have CDKN2 AMB homozygous deletion and triad of three mutations that usually come together, which is third premotor mutation, EGFR gene amplifications, and addition of chromosome 7, and missing of chromosome 10. Also, histone 3 alterations, which is mainly play a role in the pediatric gliomas, which is outside our scope today. Starting by the first one, the heart of the molecular mutations in gliomas. Isocitrate dehydrogenase enzyme is an important enzyme present in mitochondria and cytoplasm and play an essential role in the Krebs cycles that creating the energy. As we can see, the citrate go to isocitrate and under normal IDH enzyme, we have alpha ketoglutarate. But in case of mutations, we have different output, which is 
D2 hydroxyglutarate. The D2 hydroxyglutarate is the main oncometabolite that will play a significant role in tumorogenesis. Look for molecular mutations IDH. We have two options, two scenarios. The first one is the IDH is muted. At that case, we consider it IDH mutant glioma. Or it's normal and it's not muted enzyme. And then at that time, we do IDH wild type. Moving to the next molecular features, which is 1P19 codeletions, and usually it's uh, exclusively versus the ATRX loss and P53 mutations. In 1P19 codeletion, what's really that means? In the chromosomes, we, number one, there's a P, it's petit in French, called that means short arm. So the short arm of chromosome one is lost. At the same time, Q, which is the short arm of chromosome 19, is lost as well. That will lead this kind of mutations. This mutation is necessary to diagnose an oligodonoglioma and more prioritizing than the histological or phenotype analysis as we said before. Going to ATRX loss and the P53 mutations, ATRX is abbreviation for alpha thalassemia mental retardation syndrome X-linked because it's a is the gene mutations in the X chromosomes, and it's involving in maintaining genomic stability. If there is a if there is a mutations that will lead to tumor to flourish. TP53 is a suppressor genes very famous in many tumors, including gliomas, to stabilize the cell growth and maintaining the cell growth cycle. And both of them, ATRX loss and TP53 mutations, are both of them are exist in astrocytoma IDH mutant type. What that will impact the classifications. So we look to the IDH mutant, and then the next step is talking to one P19 codulation or ATRX P53 mutation. Which one is the present? If we have one P19 codulation, that means this tumor is glioma. If it's ATRX TP53 mutations, we will consider it as astrocytoma. So it's a really important classifications based on the results of that molecular mutation. Moving to the third one, CDK2A and B homozygous dilation. So this cycle independent kinase inhibitor, 2A and 2 and 2B, is a tumor suppressor gene. And it's really regulating cell cycles through and their metabolites. So we can see if there is a homozygous deletion, which means that both copies of the gene, one from each parent, is deleted, that means it's lost of its suppressor gene functions, leading to aggressive cell cycles, and that usually happened in astrocytoma IDH mutant, it upgraded to grade 4. And also it happened in glioblastoma IDH wild type. Moving to the last molecular features that is really important and we need to know, it's the triad of EGFR, plus 7, minus 10, and third premotor mutation. EGFR is an epidermal growth factor receptors. When we have an amplification of this gene, that means the receptor is more available and that will lead to more growth of the cells and proliferation that needed for tumor growth. In the third premotor mutation, what's really mean? It means, as we can see here, the cell have a chromosome and each chromosome have something called telomere. Telomere is a protective cap preventing the chromosome from getting uh, elongated indefinitely. So in normal cell cycles, in normal cell cells, we have telomeres, this is protective cap, shorten each division, eventually leading to cell death with aging. But when you have it, mutations of third premotor mutations, this protective cap is not working and not limiting the cell growth that lead to immortal cell growth. What about the additional of chromosome 7 and missing of chromosome 10? Why exactly these specific two chromosomes are mentioned in WHO classifications? We found that the chromosome 7, when we have additional copy of chromosome 7, we have more genes like EGFR that will enhance cellular perforation and growth that make it more in glioblastoma wild type LDH. At the same time, losing of chromosome 10 will mean losing of P10 gene. P10 gene is one of the suppressor genes that needed to contributing to control cell tumor growth. When we lost that, that will lead to uncontrolled tumor growth. Finally, let's now 
put all the steps that we mentioned before in the classifications. So for diffuse adult gliomas in WHO classification 2021, step-by-step -step approach. The first step the histopathology do is molecular features of IDH, the heart of the molecular features. If we have the IDH mutations, that mean we have either 1P19 codeletion. If we found that, that means it's an gliomas grade 2 or 3, based on the histological grading, as we mentioned earlier in this video. Or if I find ATRX lost or TP53 mutation, will mean that it's isotoma IDH muted 2 or 3. What about isotoma IDH mutant 4? That need another molecular features which CDK to AMB homozygous deletion will upgrade and make the isocytoma become isotoma IDH mutant grade 4. Okay, what about if the IDH is wild type? Its IDH is normal and not muted. That directly will leave it to glioblastoma IDH wild type grade 4, which usually associated with a triad EGFR additional of 7 and minus of 10 chromosome, uh, 10, number 10 chromosome, and third premotor mutation. We discussed the fused gliomas, but we need to know that in light of WHO classifications, there is two other groups we didn't mention, which is our scope of this video. It's a pediatric diffuse gliomas, which is usually based on histone mutations, and also some ascribed astrocytomic gliomas, like pyocytic astrocytoma, this also will be discussed later in next videos. Thank you. If you can want to get a copy of this presentation, you can scan this QR code. Thank you for listening and hope that make it more clarifications about one of the most important aspects of neuro-oncology in patient management and also patient prognosis. See you later.